beginning with OES 2015, NSS supports two types of pools, NSS32 and NSS64. NSS32 type pools use 32-bit block addressing and supports pool size up to 8 terabytes. NSS64 type pools use 64-bit block addressing and supports pool size up to 8 exabytes. A single NSS64 type volume can contain up to 8 trillion files and grow up to 8 exabytes in size. In mixed node cluster environments, creating NSS64 pools and ADD enabled NSS32 pools is not recommended because they will not be accessible from nodes older than OES 2015. If you need to do this as an interim solution, configure the OES 2015 nodes as preferred nodes. Also make sure that you have at least two OES 2015 nodes so that the cluster resources can migrate between those nodes. In NSSMU, select pools from the main menu and press enter. Press insert. Select the pool type that you want to create, NSS32 up to 8 terabytes or NSS64 up to 8 exabytes. If you create NSS32 pools, you have to explicitly upgrade them with the new media format. This is a one-time activity. Once completed, you cannot return the media to its previous state. NSS64 pools have the new media format automatically. You must explicitly enable the Active Directory Identities flag for the volumes in NSS32 and NSS64 pools. Specify the new pool name, then press Enter. Specify the pool size, press F3. An NSS64 bit pool is created. Note that NSS64 bit pools are AD enabled by default. By following similar steps, you can create an NSS 32-bit pool. NSS 32-bit pools are not AD enabled by default. To enable, press G. Press Y to continue. After successfully upgrading the media, NSSMU displays an appropriate message, press O. Press F5 to refresh the console. Create two volumes respectively in NSS 64-bit and NSS 32-bit pools. Select Volume 1, then press G. Press Y to continue. After successfully AD enabling the volume, NSSMU displays an appropriate message, press O. Press F5 to refresh the console. Similarly, AD enable volume 2. You can also upgrade pool media format and AD enable volumes using NSS Con and I Manager. The following slides walk you through the procedures. Issue the commands at the NSS console as a root user. Run the pools command and verify that the pool is in the active state. Run the current pool media format command. A successful upgrade is indicated by an appropriate message. Run this command to upgrade the file system media format of the newly created NSS32 pools for shared and local pools. Issue the commands at the NSS console as a root user. Run the volumes command and verify that the volume is in the active state. Run the AD identities command. The successful addition of Active Directory identities is indicated by an appropriate message. Next. Run the volumes command again and verify that the AD enabled attribute appears in the attributes column. Run this command to enable or disable the automatic AD enabling of new volumes.
While creating NSS32 pool type, select the Upgrade Media to Support AD Users checkbox. NSS64 pool type is media upgraded by default. Therefore, this checkbox is selected and you cannot edit this field. While creating NSS32 and NSS64 volumes, select the AD Enable the Volume checkbox. If you miss to AD Enable a volume while creating, after creating the volume anytime you can edit the properties of the volume and AD Enable it. This concludes the demonstration of large storage support implemented in OES 2015. Thank you for watching.